Hi, this is Asim. Today I would like to share how to perform chi squared test using SPAS. Okay, given the question, four cards are selected from a 52 card tag and the number of cards is recorded. The experiment is repeated for 1000 times and the result is as shown. Okay, what we want to do here is to test whether this frequency distribution follow a binomial distribution. In other words, whether the number is actually following a binomial distribution. Okay, before we start, we have to bear in mind some aspects. Okay, the, the experiment is repeated for 1000 times and each of this experiment, 4 cards are selected. So n is equal to 4 and our constant here is cards. So altogether, we have 13 cards out of 52. So it means that we have 13 over 52, which is 0 0.25 as the success rate. Okay, let's get started. So we just enter whatever we have. Okay, we can go to far evil, fail to labor. So has number. Remember, do not put any space in the point, otherwise we'll result an error. Okay, then we have frequency. With zero decimal. So we have the hard number. Okay, minimum is zero. All together, we selected four. So it means that the chances can be less. Not no, and we don't have any card that is hard. A okay, three two, so hard number zero one two three four, and maximum is four. All of them are hard. So three two four five. Okay, then remember to weight cases. Weight by the frequency. Then okay, already weighted. After that, what we have to do is obtain the expected value. We can go to transform, compute variable. Okay, the expected number. Okay, look for PDF binomial distribution because we are going to test whether following a binomial distribution Okay, the one here the hearts number and then end here each experiment we selected four cards so it's four and then the probability here is 13 over 52 which is 0 0.25 and then we repeat this experiment for 1000 times. So press on OK. So the expected number already computed. So let's say we want to increase the decimal places in order to increase the accuracy. Go to variable fail, then decimal. Okay, we can increase to six decimal places. Okay, then we go to analyze, look for non-parametric tests, legacy dialogues, kite square. So bear in mind that what we're going to test is number better following a binomial distribution, not the frequency. So the test variable is the number and then the value which just enter according to this list. We have to bear in mind must follow the sequence. Okay, the order must be correct. So 316.40625 and then 421.875 at 210.9375 at 46.875 at and the last one 3.90625 at then press on OK. So the test is already conducted. So from here, okay, in order to increase the decimal places, just right click. Okay, right click. We double click to enter this table, then right click. Okay, go to cells properties. 
Okay, change to four decimal places. Okay, and so for this. Okay, from here we can see that the test that statistic that we obtain is 7.8270. Okay, and this will give us the p value equal to 0 0.0981, which is greater than the significance level. So we do not reject hash now and conclude that that is insufficient evidence to say that the number of hash does not follow a binomial distribution. Or we can do in other way by using the critical value. To obtain this critical value, okay, we can go to transform, compute variable, then critical value. Okay, reset, critical value, then we'll look for inverse df of chi-square. Okay, then from here we can see that, for example, the chi-square value that is significant at the 0.05 level with 3 degrees of freedom is this form. So if I say what, what we want to test is 0 0.05 significance level, so we should input 0 0.95 and the degree of freedom we can refer to the result that we obtain so degree of freedom is 4 so we just put 4 over here then click on ok so we obtain 9.49 okay so 9.487 so in which matter we will also come to the same conclusion since the test statistic is less than the critical value so we do not reject hash not as well and conclude that that is insufficient evidence to conclude that the number of hearts does not follow a binomial distribution okay that's all for today thanks for watching hope you like this see you